guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I wanted to do my very first story time so this story time is gonna be about of course if you checked out the title yes my very first Brazilian wax y'all up until last year, I was just completely shaving. I think I did try Nair one or two times, but I just wasn't like pressed about it. Never really tried it again. Um, I was just, you know, content with shaving. I had a few conversations with some of my friends and they were like, yeah, I go get Brazilian waxes. And I was just like, the thought of waxing down there was just like completely foreign to me. I was like, I would never get that done. That's just screams pain to me. And I was just like, so against it. Just as a way to keep that area down there pretty tamed, I figured I would definitely go and try this Brazilian wax stuff. Um, I don't know what I was thinking y'all, but oh Lord. So I did some research here in Atlanta to find out what are some good places. Um, a lot of my friends go to the European Wax Center because it's a pretty, it's a franchise that's pretty much all over the U.S. Um, and we do have some here in Atlanta, but I saw another place which was pretty um, re reputable here in Atlanta. It's called Brazilian Waxes by Andrea. And they have several, several different locations all around Metro Atlanta and surrounding areas. And their waxes were super cheap. They're only $35 for a Brazilian wax. And that's like pretty good compared to some of the prices that I saw at European Wax Center. I know my friends were saying that they spend at least 50 and that's not including tip. So I hopped on that really quick. I made an appointment and I just, I didn't know what to expect. So I asked my friends, I did a lot of research on Google just to see what should I do. I allowed my hair to grow for about three or four weeks. I went in, I I didn't do anything else but prior to that I just let my hair grow for three or four weeks and I didn't take any painkillers before. I just showed up all happy and ready to be waxed. So I told the lady, you know, this is my first time. I don't know what to do. Just help me. So when I went into the room, she told me to just undress from the bottom down and lay on the um, bed. So I did that and I was laying on the bed. She came in and she had me put my my legs in butterfly position and then um she i think she like baby powdered the area first and wiped it down and then she applied the wax and unfortunately knowing that this was my first time she didn't like talk me through it i wish she would have but this lady wasn't good at all actually now i think about it but um she applied the wax and the rest is history y'all that was the most painful experience of my life. Like, I still to this day can't believe I go every month and get the it done. The place that I go to, they apply soft wax and they just lay it on there. And then once it dries, they tap it to see that it dries and they rip it off. Wh rip the wax off. They don't like put a cloth down over the wax. So they rip the wax off and they just do the whole area, um, the whole like in there, in their area. They do that and that... To be honest, that's the part that hurts the worst. The, I hate to say it, but the lips area, that part hurts like the worst. Um, literally, I just feel like she was ripping my soul out. <laughs> but um, she like did just the, the surface area, then she went in and did the lips area. And um, she did do like my lower stomach area as well. And once that was done, so she did all of that with the soft wax that she ripped off. And then she went back with a little, some wax and that, that she used a towel just for cleanup. And then she did use, um, she went back again with like a tweezer just to get any ingrown hairs or any hairs that she missed. And then she had me turn over on my stomach and hold my butt cheeks open. Um, and then she waxed my butt. So like there it was not one hair anywhere down there um you do have the option if you want like a landing strip or a triangle any whatever hair if you want any hair left on down there you do just let them know but i just wanted everything gone um so she did that and i was like i was just in there like about to cry like i wanted to stop it so bad but i was just like no Paris. At the end of the day, this is going to be worth it. Like, just like, keep going. And I, whew, y'all, I think I was sore for like the next day. It's just, I can't even describe it, y'all. But I will say that that first wax was the most painful wax that I've experienced. Ever since then, it has gradually gotten better. Um, 
The hair definitely grows back a lot finer, which is great because, you know, before if you're shaving, you're not really ripping the hair follicle out. And so with um, waxing, it's ripping the hair follicle from the root and the hair has to grow all over again. So waxing does last a lot longer than shaving. Um, it's recommended to go every three to four weeks. I can push it out to four to five weeks. Um, so that's great, like, you know, having to wax o only once a month. And the hair grows back super, super fine. Each time you go, I swear the hair gets finer and finer. And of course, they tell you to exfoliate. And that's a big thing as far as preventing ingrown hairs. And I will say, since I've been waxing, ingrown hairs are pretty much non-existent. And you literally feel as soft as a baby's bottom. Like, there is no greater feeling to me than a fresh wax. I can honestly say it's worth it. Like I said, here I am a year later and I'm still going every month. So I can definitely say that it's worth worth the pain as far as like, you know, feeling comfortable with wearing bathing suits and all of that stuff. Um, it's, it definitely helps. There's no stubble. You know, it gets, it used to be like kind of dark in that area. It's starting to lighten up. So, um, you know, if you've been thinking about it, I would definitely recommend going to get a Brazilian wax. Yes, just get that first time over with and you'll be good to go. Some people do say for you to not, first of all, don't go during your period because they will still wax you, of course, if you wear a tampon, but don't go during your period because that area is a little bit more sensitive. And some people do say to take like a Tylenol or Advil um, before, like 30 minutes before your appointment to help with the pain. I don't know, that hadn't really worked for me, to be honest. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but um, I have some like some painkillers from my wisdom teeth surgery that I like pop one before I go, and that definitely helps. But um, you know, definitely try the the Tylenol or the Leave and see how that works for you. Now, one thing, one tip that I will say definitely works before a wax. Last, and I just just tried this last week before my wax. I actually took a shower, a warm shower before, and I exfoliated my that area. I had about five weeks worth of growth down there. So I just exfoliated with my favorite body scrub, and that is this scrub right here, and that's the Shea Moisture Lavender Body Scrub. And it's kind of like a sugar scrub. I exfoliated, and then I went to my appointment, and it was the least painful wax that I have ever had and so I definitely think I'm going to keep that up and to see like is that if that helps as far as the pain because the hair literally just came right on off and I didn't I mean of course it hurt but it wasn't as painful as all my other waxes so definitely try that I think that definitely helps as far as the pain yeah that was my first Brazilian wax experience it was horrible but I'm so glad that I did it and got it over with and now I am faithful waxer. I love Brazilian waxes. I would recommend them to anybody. It's just so much easier to just get it all off and then, you know, go a couple weeks and just be good. So, hope you guys enjoyed my story time. If you have any questions about Brazilian waxing or anything like that, leave them below and I will um, be sure to answer those for you. And I will catch you all on my next video. Bye guys.